Hello, welcome back. Today is day 15 of the Aerial Yoga Challenge. Today we are going upside down. Yes, it is immersion day, the one we've all been waiting for. So a couple of options here. I have my hammock a little bit higher. We can have the hammock at the base of the hips um, or the sacrum or we can fan the fabric out and sit in the fabric. So we're gonna be doing frog inversion today. So two different options for that entry. So if we wanna take this entry, we're gonna bring the fabric as low as we can and we're gonna walk our feet forward. Our hands are gonna stay on the pole and we're pressing into the poles. When you're ready, you're gonna bring your legs up in that wide straddle position and bring them all the way around and hook them on the inside of the poles. If you feel comfortable, you can release your hands to the ground. This is a really nice inversion. This is one of our most basic inversions to get you started in the frog position. Hips are nice and open. We're getting lots of length through the spine and we're also getting all the benefits of being upside down, revitalizing our lymph system, energizing our bodies, our blood circulating through the body, calming the mind, relieving any stress or anxiety that you might have aiding us in digestion, the benefits honestly are endless. Um, it is recommended that you try and do one inversion a day to really reap the rewards. When you're ready to come out, the hands can come back up onto the poles, keep the legs nice and wide in the straddle position, and then slowly lower down until the feet reach the mat. If you wanna try the other version, you can fan the fabric out and go ahead, get a few grab fulls and get your bum situated inside. So if your hammock's a little higher like mine, you might have to jump into it. I'm gonna gather each of the poles in the hands and this is the same thing. We wanna keep the fabric nice and low on the back here and then coming wide wrapping the legs around for our frog position. So just a little bit more support with the wrap here. Some people find this a bit more uncomfortable, but again, it's completely up to you. And then hanging out in your frog position. I do recommend trying to stay in your inversion for approximately one minute. If that seems really like a long time, you can build up to that nice and gradually. And then just remembering that on different days, we are feeling differently depending on so many factors. So one day, a one minute ver inversion will feel great. Another day, 20 seconds is more than enough. So I hope you enjoyed frog inversion. I will see you again for more inversions over the next few days.